everything except the important parts that we don't need to cut off. Start! Uh, all right. So this is Gardener Shakol here, and I'm out here with Gardener Jerry and Gardener James, and we are outside with oh. our chives. And if you notice here, we have some lovely chive blossoms. Do you remember, uh, Gardener uh, Jerry, what we were going to do with these chive blossoms? Oh, we're my. gonna make it into uh, a. Hmm. Do you remember we're gonna put them vinegar? In? Yeah, we're gonna put these into vinegar, Garden. Gardener James and we're going to make some nice chive vinegar and we're going to save it for later because we can mix that chive vinegar with some olive oil and some other spices and make us a lovely vinaigrette and that will be great to go on top of some salad once we get some more spinach and some more kale growing so we can actually make a salad so this is just a harvesting process and if you see here they're cutting um, down a little bit low so they can get the stem It'll make it a little bit easier to clean off the chives, which will be our next step. So follow us inside. All right, Gardener Jerry and Gardener James, what's going on now? Uh, we're washing the chives. Why is this important? Because you don't want to eat something dirty because you're gonna, it has germs on it if you don't clean something. Yeah, and then you may get, get sick. What else might you find in the chive bug. blossom? Bug. Yeah. And we definitely don't want any bugs in our uh, chive blossom vinegar. At all. Yeah. So let's go ahead and finish uh, rinsing these Ooh. off. And then we'll move on to the next step. So we have some nicely uh, clean chive blossoms. And what I'm about to do here is just cut the stem off. So I'm just going to cut right beneath the blossom. And I'm just going to repeat this process until I've done all of the chive blossoms. All right, so we're back here with Gardener Jerry and Gardener James, and we're at our last step on making this chai blossom vinegar. So they're going to go ahead and put the blossoms into our mason jars. And they're just going to put them in there loosely. We're not going to push them down or pack them down or anything like that. They're just going to put them in there until they uh, fill up the jars, and we may have some left over. And that's okay. Uh, that one over there, James, is good. So put those, put some of those in that middle uh, mason jar. Yeah, that's good. Actually, take uh, a couple out of the middle and a couple out of that left one in front of the green. That's good. And then uh, that one that's right there. Yeah, take a, that's good. That's good. That's good. So if you notice here, we have three cups. Two cups are green and one cup is red. Gardner, Jerry, why is that cup red? Because it shows that it's hot. Yes. So there's two ways to make chai vinegar. One way is just to use room temperature vinegar and pour it over the chai blossoms. The other way, if you want to make it quicker, you can warm it up. So we have done, we're doing a little, little experiment here because we want to see which one has the most flavor. So go ahead, boys, uh, take a cup. Um, take this cup and pour it, no, yeah, like what, yeah, take this, no, take oh. this cup, pour the vinegar over, uh, the blossoms. There you go. And James, go ahead and do that other green one. The left? Yeah, put it in the middle. There we go. It's going to pour, pour. There you go. So the next process is kind of the boring one where we just wait. And so once uh, the blossoms steep in the vinegar, the color will actually come out. So the vinegar will change colors and it will come back to you and let you know how it tastes, which one tastes better. The one that we uh, used the room temperature vinegar or the one that we used the vinegar that was warmed up. So tune in later to find out what happens. Till next time. What are you doing? Eating the whole flower of the chive. Yeah, you, you can really eat it. What do you think? It's good. What do you think, James? <laughs> You have a different thought?
It's hot. <laughs> okay.